Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening another one of these resin boxes and I promise, I promise, I promise I will craft with these. These are not going to go like in my shelf and be there forever just because I'm satisfied with just buying them. I promise I will craft, but I got this one because if you saw the previous one, the beginner special resin special box, what was it called? Anyways, um, it came with a UV lamp and I said that I was giving that to my friend Sylvia and um, they had this mini one for a thousand yen that I decided to get and thought that would be good for her because she needs some molds obviously to craft. And she was kind enough to say that I could open it on camera, so we'll take a look and see what's inside. Now this one says, Oyako de tanoshimu. It says, enjoy with your, well, oyako, parent and child. So it's supposed to be maybe a little more simple, and it's called puchi. And the blue one I got was called petite. So um, I really don't know what the difference is, except for the design and what's inside. But basically it's the same name, just whether it's in French or Japanese, so... Whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna open this one and we'll take a look together. Now, a lot of you have been asking where to get this and I think that it is exclusive to Pandora House, which is a craft store, and I don't think they sell it online. I've checked a few times, but... Yeah, so I'm sorry that I'm showing you stuff that you guys maybe can't buy, but you can buy the molds and stuff I know. I think there's some shops on Etsy that, well, resell them basically, but sell them and the pigments and stuff, so um, I'll see if I can find some shops that do sell that and link them below. Anyways, here is the Pucci set. As you can see, because it was only a thousand yen, there's not as much in it, but it's, you know, a really starter starter set for people with kids, maybe. So, this is the mold sheet. Let's see what we have. We have a poodle, heart, swan, mushroom, apple, spade, button, dog, sheep, cloud. So I have a few of these, but there are some that I do not. And then I got some doubles before, so I may get Sylvia to trade a few with me. But yes, this is the mold sheet, and it comes with 10 molds. That's really decent, because each mold in the store costs about 300 yen. So this is a really good deal. It's kind of like a lucky box for the craft store. And then here is the next sheet. It comes with ball chains, safety pins, pearls, and then um, little plastic pieces to make hair ties, I think, and little tags, some um, string, or um, it's the hair tie string, like the stretchy stuff. And then it says it's mixed glitter, coloring powder, coloring powder, and then here is a sheet of letters, well, the Japanese alphabet, and then some cute pictures that you can put in the resin. So it's a really, really simple kit, but it's good for getting started and crafting with your kids, I guess. It comes with a detailed and in color instructions sheet, and it says how to make a brooch, clear plate, hair tie, button, or button, backing, whatever it's called, what to do when you messed up, and then like a whole big page for all the stuff that they sell. So, these are really, really cool. Um, here's the company name. I don't know if this is the shop that's it's called Eruberu, and there's an email. So, I mean, if you're looking for an international supplier, it may be quickest to just contact them. I'm not sure. But, as you can see, this company makes a lot of different stuff. They have um, little kind of deco-ish kits, too. These are a bit more pricey. I think they're about 1,000 yen each, but they're really, really cute. And then they have the molds that I have with resin. It's like a whole kit. So that's really nice, especially if you don't like thinking of designs like me. It's like, just follow the instructions. I like those the best. And, yeah, so I really like this company. Um, I see them at a lot of craft stores. This box and the other ones, I think, were exclusive to Pandora House. That was a tinier box, but it's still cute, and I think it's good. Uh, Sylvia will like it to get started because she crafted some here, and she really enjoyed it. So, a lot of you were asking about UV resin as well, and I actually know of one U.S. brand. I don't know if it's the U.S. brand, I'm sorry. My friend from the U.S. brought it for me, and it's called the Lisa 
pa pa blah, blah. I don't remember the full name. I'll put it down below. There is a brand of UV resin in the States that you can purchase. I think it's called Magic Gloss, actually. But I'll link it down below. And you guys were also asking about the UV lamps. They are the same thing that you use for gel nails. So I don't know where to look. Maybe... Maybe a craft store, but maybe if you have like a nail supply store, or maybe check online. But that's what the lamps are, so if you're interested in getting started in UV resin, that is what you would be looking to get started with. And, yes, I will, will, will make stuff with these. I've already made a few things, but it's just not enough for like an update. So, Yes, now I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I will be crafting with these. I will make videos with these. And if you're interested in UV resin, look it up, ask me questions, and let's craft. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!